Welcome to Student Spotlights, a presentation of College Success Arizona. This program features the hardworking college students who have earned scholarships from College Success Arizona and are pursuing their educational goals and career passions. Today on Student Spotlight, we interview Sitlali Salis. I was born actually here in Phoenix, Arizona, and I was raised here. And where did you graduate from high school? I graduated from North High School. In what year? Uh, 2017. And how old are you currently? I am 19 years old. You're attending Arizona State University? Yes, correct. Are you wrapping up your first year? Yes, in about two or three weeks. And what are you doing so far as your education? What are you uh, pursuing in terms of a bachelor degree? Well, I'm currently majoring in family and human development um, and maybe thinking about adding a minor, I'm still considering the options. And with a major, did you say human development? Family and human development, yes. So with a bachelor degree in human development, what does that allow you to do in terms of your career options? Well, there's a lot of possibilities and pathways I can take, which is one of the uh, main reasons I decided upon my degree. Um, one of the reasons I also decided upon this is because I am able to become either a teacher or a child specialist, which is one of my two options that I'm keeping in mind as of right now. Have you always had the idea or goal, dream job of wanting to be a teacher? Um, yeah, ever since I was little, I always like admire teachers, and especially throughout like my whole uh, middle school and high school career, I grew really close bonds through like some of my teachers, and I think that kind of encouraged me to pursue a degree in um, something that I could become and be an educator. You're still very young uh, in terms of your life and your college career, but at this point, do you have some type of dream job in mind? Um, not right now, but I've always kind of wanted to work with little kids, so I think I would want to do something around that role, um, working with little children. Possibly kindergarten teacher or pre-K? Yeah, definitely. And graduating from North High School just, uh, I guess, a short year ago and now wrapping up your first year at ASU, that is a major transition in terms of moving from a high school with maybe, I don't know, a few thousand kids to ASU with uh, tens of thousands. Talk about that transition. Yes, definitely. It was, um, I want to say it was culture shock, especially because I came from a high school predominantly from minorities, and then entering ASU is more uh, uh, more majority. So um, it was definitely interesting transitioning, but it also opened a lot of horizons that I never thought um, I would be enclosed into. So I definitely liked the whole experience being open to new cultures and traditions and just like finding a group where you, you, you're able to relate to and et cetera. And how about the freedom element of it moving from high school to college where you just have, simply put have a lot more freedom? Yes, definitely. And as well, I also live on campus. So there's a lot of flexibility with my schedule um, between classes when I have gaps. I'm allowed to, you know, go back to my dorm if I need to or just hang around. Um, so there's a lot more freedom with it. And it's something, if you use wisely, it's something to your advantage. What have been the biggest challenges so far and also the biggest rewards? I think the biggest challenges would definitely be time management just because you it's all independent it's all up to you how you manage your time but then one of the most rewards is also again that freedom that if you finish um, all your work and you're on top of your stuff you have so much freedom that you can do um, what you please to do do you have a lot of new friends and you also have some of the friends uh, from north high school who may be there with you at asu Yes, I do. I actually joined um, a multicultural sorority, Gamma Alpha Omega Sorority Incorporated. So I gained a whole sisterhood as well as being able to consider my best friend a sister now. So it's definitely a new experience and something I'm grateful for. Now, are you also holding a job down during college or do you have enough financial support in terms of your scholarships to not work and just focus on studies? Yes, I am fortunately lucky enough to not be working right now and have everything paid for. And currently I have no loans taken out. So I'm definitely grateful for that fact. And you're among the hundreds of students who have earned scholarships from College Success Arizona, which provide up to $6,000 per year for educational expenses. Can you tell us how that financial support, that money is helping you? Yes, it's definitely one of the biggest advantages that, um, just meeting this program because I never thought that I would be able to go 
to a four-year university. And then when I was open to this opportunity, I learned how much I could do with it. Not only that, but it also allowed me to stay in campus, which is one of the bigger advantages I have, opposed to some of my other peers, because um, I be- I'm able to get that whole freshman experience, you know, all bundled up in one. And um, one of the reasons is for this scholarship. And in addition to the financial support, the scholarship also provides specialized mentoring services from success advisors, basically mentors. Your mentor, success advisor, is Matt Sotelo. Can you describe uh, your relationship with Matt? What does he do for you? Yes, definitely. It's one of the, again, one of the other advantages of this scholarship because not every scholarship is there to support you and keep you along that whole track of graduating in four years. But, you know, with Matt, he's always there to encourage you, asking you about how you're doing, not only school-wise, but life-wise. So it's always nice to have that cheerleader, um, you know, always there for you, especially the consistency of him. Are you a first-generation student? Yes, I am. Were your parents always encouraging to go to school and go to college? Yes, they're one of my main support systems, and they're always um, encouraging me to thrive for better, you know, um, not be the status quo. So I definitely thank them for what they've done for me. And do you have hobbies and sports and interests, some type of passion beyond the books? Um, as of right now, I am really focused in my sorority, and I currently hold a fundraising chair, which next week we're having a soccer tournament. Um, it's really exciting because with this soccer tournament, um, definitely um, we're helping raise funds for one of our scholarships. So I think that's one of my aspirations, helping other people and empowering other people. And I also have a note that you are an alumni of the, or an alumnus, an alumni of the Hispanic Mother Daughter Program. Can you tell us about that? Yeah, this program was definitely another support system I had throughout my whole, um, basically half of my middle school and high school years. This is another program that I highly encourage students to get involved with if they're able to, because once again, that support system helps you go a long way and you meet so many wonderful people that, uh, like I said, I actually met my best friend through this program. So um, definitely one of the programs I encourage everyone to get involved with. In Sitlali, for students back at North High School and other schools that uh, may listen to this at some point, can you offer some advice for those who are considering their own college opportunities? Yes. Uh, One of my main tips would be never be afraid to ask for help. I feel like as um, a lot of us being in first year, uh, it can be kind of nerve-wracking to ask for help, but always know that there's someone out there willing to help you that has the resources and time. So never be afraid to ask for help because there's a lot of people willing to help you. Thank you so much for the interview, Sid Lolly. And by the way, since 2005, College Success Arizona has worked with nearly 1,300 students just like Sit Lolly and provided more than $16 million in scholarships and success services to help increase the college attainment rates in our state. If you would like to be part of the mission of providing educational opportunity to high-potential students from low-income backgrounds, your tax-deductible contribution can be made through the Donate button located on the College Success Arizona website at collegesuccessarizona.org.